Welcome to Discover the Villages with Jana Raber. As you all have heard, we had a hurricane in Florida last week, and I promised I would keep a series of events in case anybody wanted to um, hear about that. And we have had several requests, so um, not a lot happened since we were very, very fortunate and thankful that we had very little damage other than some limbs falling around. But here's what happened. Hmm. It's 11.40 on Wednesday, September 28th. We're in Central Florida, and we wanted to show you what things look like here. Um, it's been drizzling just kind of off and on. We did have a thunderstorm last night, but the clouds are moving in, and we're all braced and ready. Uh, please excuse my appearance, but I've been out helping people move furniture and things like that indoors, making sure that uh, nothing's left outside that could blow in a window. So we'll keep you updated. It's about 3.30 Wednesday afternoon and it's not really gotten bad yet out here, but it is raining harder than it was this morning. The wind is really picking up, and I understand there's, a, there's over 624,000 people in the state of Florida without power. So we will keep you posted. And of course, if it gets real bad, I won't be coming outside. <laughs> well, it's Thursday morning, and um, just wanted to show you that we, we escaped the damage again. And you can look up and down the back of our house and see that there's no limbs down, there's no trees down or anything like that. We did have some winds last night up to about 30, 35 miles an hour. It's in the 60s this morning, which is really different. But um, we're gonna go inside and I'll show you what we had planned for our little safe area in case we did have a storm. I thought I would share uh, my safety plans with you. This is where we're gonna be if um, it gets here and is uh, threatening. For those of you that watch my channel, you know how much I love these. <laughs> well, it's got a dual purpose today because with all these doors shut, um, it creates a very safe indoor interior place for us to be safe. Well, this was our safe area, should we have needed it last night. We went to bed as usual, but um, this is an area where we um, had planned to put pillows and cushions. We have water, electronics, um, lantern, spare batteries, our medication, and we didn't have to come in here, thank goodness. Uh, there were some snacks in here looks like cameraman has been in here. We are praying for those on uh, the coast that got hit and are really, really devastating water around um, Sanibel, Fort Myers, Naples, all that area. Um, one great thing about living in Central Florida, we're not on the coast and we've escaped another storm. Let's get right into the questions. First question is, can you show some homes that sold what they listed for and what they sold for? Well, I chose four homes that uh, closed recently in different price ranges 
and take a look at these. And the first one is a little bit of a rarity because it's a two bedroom, one bath courtyard villa that needed a little TLC. The second one is the vinyl version of the jasmine, a wisteria, and it looks really nice. And the third one is one that I actually sold. Uh, these people contacted me from watching my videos. They just moved in and they absolutely love it. And the fourth one is a beautiful iris that's on the water. Great location. I wouldn't mind owning that one myself. And the second question is, I'm thinking of visiting next week. Is there much going on in October? Boy, is there. And I will show you what, a little bit of what's going on because we don't have time for me to tell you about everything. In entertainment, we have tribute acts to Elton John, Queen, Rod Stewart, ABBA, and Elvis, just to name a few. Then there's West Side Story at the Savannah Center and the Buddy Holly Story at the Sharon. At the squares, there's car shows, cruise ins, market nights, and farmer's markets. And Polo is back in October on Fridays and Sundays. Also at the Polo Ground, there's a walk to end Alzheimer's, which is both fun and worthwhile. Then, of course, there's all the entertainment at the squares and many of the restaurants, plus neighborhood events, driveway parties, ladies' lunches, get together, and all sorts of events. And all that before we mention the thousands of lifestyle club activities. Then, at the end of the month, the big one. Halloween at Brownwood is not to be missed. Wow, that wore me out just telling you about all the events. Now let's look at the MLS stats from September 26th to October the 3rd. Solds this week, 25. Last week, 37. Pending, we only had 15. Last week, we had 34. New listings, 24. Last week we had 33. And price reductions, 20. Last week we had 42. Now, I can tell you that the storm coming through definitely wrecked habit with our um, amounts this week. So um, that's why they're all so low. So let's, hopefully next week things will be back to normal. Actives, we had 209 last week. 
this week we have 217. We are at Fa Saigon and I've ordered the chicken breast rice noodle soup and cameraman has ordered vegetables with veggie broth and rice noodles. And we also have a couple of growths coming out, so I'm excited. This is located at the corner of 301 and 466 just opposite the Walmart. This is a vegan spring roll and um, I started eating it before <laughs> I got excited started eating it before we filmed it but it's absolutely full of flavor and of course I like the, uh, the chili flakes which makes it especially hot. These are quite tasty. Our food just arrived, and this is my chicken. It has the rice noodles in there, and broccoli, onion, all kinds of goodies. And here is a vegetable plate. You can put herbs in there. There's uh, Thai basil, cilantro, uh, bean sprouts, jalapeno slices, and lime. cameraman ordered the vegan version, the vegetable rather, which the soup looks extremely hot. I can't wait for him to try that. So. Mm, there are so many different flavors in here, from the lime, jalapenos, the, I use the uh, chili and um, Thai basil and cilantro. Oh my gosh, it just makes your tongue dance. It is so good. Rice noodles, broccoli, and pieces of chicken. And there's gobs of it. <laughs> Mm. Very good. I'm going to try a bite of cameraman's. Mm. It's very tasty. I was wondering with vegetable broth instead of chicken broth if it would be as tasty, but there are tons of vegetables in there. Squash, mushrooms, Broccoli, it's very, very good. Well, I've eaten all I could. This was a huge bowl of soup. And I tell you, the, I had tons of white chicken breast that was very tender, and the vegetables were cooked just right. They were a little crunchy. Is it good over here? <laughs> a little crunchy which is perfect for the soup. And the broth is very, very good. And the noodles, it just finishes it up with the noodles. And of course, you can make it as hot as you want. I like, I like a little heat, so I did put quite a bit of the chili in mine, which made it great. I can't see anything at all that would improve this. I'd have to give it a 10. And let's see how cameraman did. Well, needless to say, I think cameraman loved it. <laughs> this place is a little different, which is great. And I definitely would recommend it. I'll be coming back and I think you would like it too. I love that place. And now it's time for the house of the week. I'm at 1756 Oconee Place, I think that's how you pronounce it, but anyway, 
This is a 3-2 Camellia. All three bedrooms have closets. Um, there was a new roof put on just last month, as well as a new water heater, and HVAC was replaced in 2015. This is the vinyl version of the Gardenia. Very nice leaded glass front door. Laminate flooring on the diagonal, which is, makes the area appear much larger. And you've got a fireplace here for a little ambiance. There's the living room, dining room, and a very spacious eat-in kitchen. There's pull-outs in several places. A stainless refrigerator. The other appliances are white. There is a trash compactor. I haven't seen one of those in a while. So nice, lots of light. And this feature does have the guest area over here. Um, all new carpet has been placed throughout. Both guest rooms are very good size. Nice window. Here's the guest bath. Huge lanai area. I think it's expanded like four feet. You know, I made a mistake. This is not laminate. It's actually luxury vinyl plank. I love the color of it. Let's look outside. The floor is nicely painted in the lanai. Over here you've got everything all wired up and ready for a TV. And you've got nice blinds for privacy or blocking the sun. Over here there was a hot tub, you can see, and the wiring is already there. So if you want a hot tub, it's right there for you. It is very quiet out here. This is the master, and again, brand new carpeting and lots of light from the windows and the sliders. Nice vaulted ceiling, and we have double closets here. Utility closet, and double sinks. They decided to make this a small office area instead of a laundry room and the washer and dryer are in the garage. To sum up this lovely Camellia, it's got three bedrooms, two baths, beautiful luxury vinyl plank on a diagonal, brand new carpet. Uh, neutral color, the walls are neutral, and it has an extended lanai, painted floor, the um, electric for a hot tub, and it's got a separate little office right off the kitchen. So at 1995 square feet, it's listed at 444.9 and it was built in 2005. Great buy. 
Wow, we covered a lot this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And also, if you liked it, hit, oh well, if you liked it or you didn't like it, hit the like button. That really helps us. So until next time, bye. Laminate flooring on the diagonal. Three bedrooms. Two full bath with lamp. I said laminate again. Ralph. Okay. Gardenia. And it has lovely laminate. I cannot believe it. What is wrong with me? Two baths. Beautiful luxury vinyl plank. Oh.